Growing pressure on Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to recuse himself from overseeing special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. This picked up steam when GOP Senator Lindsey Graham wrote a letter asking Rosenstein if his recommendation to fire former FBI Director James Comey makes him a witness in a potential obstruction of justice probe involving President Trump and whether he should then recuse himself from the matter. The Justice Department responded this way, quote, the deputy attorney general would recuse from all or part of any matter if recusal were deemed appropriate by department officials who are informed about the matter. Otherwise, he has a responsibility to fulfill his oath to well and faithfully execute the duties of his office. That response not sitting well with Lindsey Graham. The senator repeated his concerns with Rosenstein. Watch. I'm really curious as to how Rosenstein could be involved in overseeing an investigation if he's going to be a witness. Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. On this very new set, you and I said last week, I wonder if recusal will be next. Well, uh, recusal, may, recusal will be warranted. By recusal, we mean that Rod Rosenstein no longer manages the case and Bob Mueller would have another boss, which is a little problematic as to who that would be. We can get to that in a minute. Recusal would be warranted, according to the DOJ, if their ethics team, mm -hmm. which is a team of ethics experts that, that work for the DOJ, decides. He's basically saying, I'm going to let them decide. When would it be warranted? When you are both a witness and running the investigation, you can't be both. You've got to be one or the other. Can I ask you a quick question, and then we'll, we'll move on. Is this the same uh, total or in part ethics team that looked at Jeff Sessions' yes. recusal? Because we talked I don't know about, if it's the well, same was... human beings, but it's the no, no, same no, office. No, no, but it's the same Unit, yes, right? yes. Okay. So yes. We, we've seen this before. Yes, we have. So Senator Graham's argument, and on, on its face it makes a lot of sense, is Rod Rosenstein signed the memo to the president setting forth the reasons that would justify firing Jim Comey. He participated in conversations with the president. Mm -hmm. Bob Mueller is suggesting that part of what the president's reasons were was to Dry was to punish Comey for not stopping the Russian investigation. This is an alleged allegation. I'm not saying this happened. And that motivation was obstruction of justice. So, therefore, we need the testimony of Rod Rosenstein to say, why was Jim Comey fired? Was he fired because the president feared the Russia investigation? This is at a time before Mueller was in office. Sure. Or was well, he fired because the president it. just wanted, it didn't like the way he handled the Hillary well, Clinton investigation? Well, some people say that that fire triggered the second, I, I mean, the uh, the special counsel. Okay. So, uh, so, Bob, so Bob Mueller has a choice. Okay. Do I want Rod Rosenstein to be my boss or do I want him to be my witness? If I want him to be my boss, I have another witness who was there at all those meetings and who participated in the drafting or at least signed who off on the memo. Jeff Sessions. But he's I mean, already recused. Yes, so he may very well rather than trigger two recusals, use Jeff Sessions as his witness in this Jim Comey firing escapade. Robert Mueller has said that he wouldn't, and, and correct me if I misunderstood what he said, he wouldn't move to charge this president. Did I misunderstand that? No, you understood, you understood his principal mouthpiece as saying that. You never heard that from, you okay. heard, that's what Mayor Giuliani has said, but you never heard that from, from uh, Bob Mueller. Bob that's Mueller, what he said he was told. Okay, Bob I Mueller, understand. unlike Ken Starr, who was on television once a week in, in that era when he was investigating right, right. Whitewater, Bob Mueller has never said a peep to the, to the public. He is very, very dutiful in this respect. Do you doubt that that's the case? I doubt that that's the case because of the depth of the level of their The reason I ask is that we're going around and around, and it seems like Bob Mueller retains his power, and I, I wonder how that happens. But what you're saying is, A, we don't know what he has. Right. And B? We won't know what he has until he either says, I'm not indicting anybody, here's what I found, or here are the indictments, now we'll try these cases. And he doesn't have to show his cards. Contrary to my dear friend, former judge and congressman Gomert, he doesn't have to show documents in the mid middle of a criminal investigation. He has the privilege of keeping those secret until the investigation wow. is over. I, I saw you shaking your head as I was talking with the congressman. He was very impassioned. I appreciate yeah. your time. Of course. Thank you. Pleasure.